What's up, y'all? Instagram's changed. It's so crazy. <laughs> Hi. So I thought it had just been a while since I'd been on social meets. So I thought I'd come say hi. Um, Luca? Are you here? Luca. Where in the world is Luca? Um, I am in Canada right now. Hence the jacket that is the size of my house. Um, it's very cold here. Um, but I'm excited about the movie that I'm making for y'all. Um, it's a movie called Ghosting. It's a Christmas movie. Um, and, uh, oh, happy birthday. Um, <laughs> and, uh, it's got some cool people in it who I love a lot. Um, written by Laura Donnie, who doesn't have Instagram or any social media because she's evidently too cool for that. Um, but my girl Kamiko Glenn is in the movie with me and Kendrick Sampson, and my girl Jazz Raycole. Uh, they're like, I mean, three of the people. There's obviously more people in it, um, but they're my main three. And, um, you know, we've been having a good time, but I'm on lunch right now, so any minute someone's gonna knock and tell me I have to go back out into the cold. And, I'm not wired for the cold, so, you know, I'm trying my best. Uh, I don't know, where, where is everyone, um, you know, tuning in from? From France? Cool. What am I having for lunch? I just had some chicken noodle soup. I'm not supposed to eat gluten, but I did it anyway because it's soup and I'm so cold. Uh, and I had some carrot salad and some quinoa, you know, Oklahoma, Austin, baguette, love it, New York, Indiana, Vancouver, oh cool, same city, hey, wow, this is cool guys, I've, uh, I've missed being on social media, but you know, I've just been out here living my life, honestly, I just recently got so overwhelmed and so tired I just had to delete all the apps off my phone because it was a little too much and it was a you know form of self-care to just take some time away from my phone um, <laughs> yeah I do gotta make that money <laughs> okay there's there's buttons on here now that I really don't understand um, can anyone tell me, what, am I engaged? <laughs> yes, to myself. Um, <laughs> uh, what is, does anyone know what the two faces with the number on it means? What does that mean? I'm pressing it. Oh, oh, you can go live with someone. Okay, I do know about this. I know about this because I've heard about this from my friends who know things about phones and stuff um I did want to say okay one thing I wanted to say was I've been getting a lot of um people saying like please drop the skincare routine and I'm actually having a good skin day today but I just feel like I wanted to let you guys know that not every day is like that some days I wake up with the most painful cystic acne ever and you know, I got a lot of help, too, from, you know, people who are experts and uh, tell me what to eat and what to put on my skin. And then they cover it all up anyway with crazy makeup. And um, do I like Outback Steakhouse? I've never been to Outback Steakhouse. Um, but I know there's something called the Bloomin' Onion that I've never heard of. So it's not... Um, it's not an Australian thing. Um, 
But yeah, in general, I just, I wanted to, I wanted to tell y'all that, you know, beauty is something that usually there's a team of people behind it. And, um, you know, uh, the new season of The Bold Type, I don't know when it's coming out. You should hit up Freeform. I don't know. No one tells me anything. I think sometime next year. Um... <laughs> Someone just said I seem a bit tired. You sound like my mother. Every time I call my mom, she's like, Hi, you look tired. <laughs> Thanks, mom. I'm trying my best. Um, <laughs> I will do more covers. Um, you know what? Send me, send me like requests and stuff. Like tweet it to me or, or I comment it on the Instagram and tell me what song I should do. I was thinking like maybe, um, I don't know, maybe something like an Anderson Pack thing, because I love his new album. And, you know, that sounds like someone that I could maybe cover. Uh, I have been writing a lot and will eventually get around to recording and releasing some stuff. Just for free, just for fun, because, you know, it's not all that serious, but, you know. Oh, do tints. I do love tints. Tints is great. <laughs> Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. I love, actually, you know what, I do love doing, like, any Cardi B song on the ukulele, I think is just kind of hilarious, you know, on its own. Um, I've also been listening to a lot of, like, Ella Mai. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Unless it's Ella Mai. Maybe it's Ella Mai. Um, but she's great. I can't sing like her. She's amazing, but, you know. I'll listen to her songs and sing along. Um, <laughs> it was not my birthday the other day. I need to, um... I need to just put that out there. That was a mistake. It was something that uh, just happened, and now I regret it because I'm still getting um, I'm still getting happy birthday text messages and messages, and I, I feel I feel bad for misleading everyone. But no, it was not my birthday. My birthday is in September, so not even close. Um, um, the Kadena of it all. We should talk about that. Um, I know it's um, it's bum. It bummed me out too. Believe me, I I get very emotional at like anything. Literally the other day, actually, there was a like a toddler um, sitting behind me in line to get coffee, and the toddler like tugged on my jacket. I think because it thought that I was its mom. And I turned around and this it had like the hood up like this and like you could barely see its face and then I don't know if it was a boy or a girl because it was you know covered in a huge jacket but they couldn't even put their arms down because it was such a big jacket and I almost cried just at that one <laughs> little thing so I'm very emotional you know at the best of times um, so, believe me, when I read about what was happening with Kadena at the end of season two, I was super emosh. Um, but, you know, I understand where everyone's coming from in terms of feeling frustrated. And I think that you should keep on communicating that to the people that need to hear it. Because your opinions matter and how you feel when you watch a show matters, you know? Um... So I love that people are speaking up and that people are saying how they feel and that people are engaged and it's making everyone have a conversation because at the end of the day, that's what about, you know? Uh, the reason why we make these shows is, is so that everyone can feel like they see themselves and, and how you feel when you watch yourself matters. So keep speaking up, you know? I love it. I love that everyone's engaged and just so you know, Everyone who's involved with the show really cares, and um, and everyone, 
believe me, the, the conversations that happen surrounding uh, the whole Kat and Adina of it all are uh, very intense. Everyone has very um, intense opinions and, and everyone has a different idea of where they think that they should go. Um, I am <laughs> definitely very vocal, uh, and you know, I'm just a puzzle piece. I'm one of the hundreds and hundreds of puzzle pieces that, you know, go into making the show. Uh, but just so you guys know, everyone who's involved really cares and wants to tell a story that feels like real and true, and um, everyone really cares about these characters, so we want to do our best to tell the right story and also to make people happy and make people feel like really good when they watch the show you know um what's my favorite holiday uh i really like christmas because that's usually a time when i get to go home i actually just booked my flight home yesterday i'm so excited i'm gonna sleep for weeks and just hang out with my little sister and my little brothers and, you know, hang out with them and catch up. Because I've missed them a lot. Actually, you know what? I should really be FaceTiming with my family right now, but, you know, I'll call them later. It's fine. Um, oh, you're in Surf, Azalea. Do I have any recommendations for Surf as Paradise? You know, I don't know, go to the beach. <laughs> that's all I do when I uh, when I go there and I, actually I do need to get back because I keep hearing how I've lost my accent and it's not wrong it's going away it comes back sometimes when I'm like tired or or angry when I get really angry or or when I'm drinking which I don't do often especially not these days too old, you know? I get a hangover for three days and then regret the whole thing, you know? Um, a book to recommend? Right now, actually, I just finished reading um, Woman Code by Elisa Vitti, and it's kind of an amazing book. You can look up uh, her, she has an app for your phone so you can track your period and uh, your ovulation and when you're in your follicular stage and it teaches you how to kind of harness the power of your period instead of feeling like every month you're like dreading it which is something that I need in my life and I don't know I feel like most of my friends need it too um, so Elisa Vitti has uh, she also has a TED talk that you can watch uh, that's really interesting if you don't feel like if you're not a book reader you know um, and I'm almost done reading Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin, which I'd, I'd never, um, I'd never actually read before, but, and I, I, it's like a classic, so finally getting around to that, and that's beautiful, and has brought me to tears many times. I feel like that should be a movie, actually. Um, you know, I think it would be like a beautiful movie. Um, and they just made If Beale Street Could Talk. And I'm so excited to see that. I don't know if it's out yet. It's maybe not. But I keep seeing pictures of that, that girl who's playing the main character. And she's such a cutie. And someone just knocked on my door. I'm going to tell him. I'm busy. I'm doing social media. Scoot. Hold on. One sec. Hey, love. Hey, when you're ready here, maybe we'll see you. Okay. All right. I'll head in. Thank you. All right, homies. I gotta go. I gotta go get my hair and makeup fixed for the 50th time today. Um, do I need an assistant? I need 50 assistants, <laughs> but I'm trying my best. Um, so I love you guys. I appreciate you all. Um, thank you so much for, I don't know. You guys are cool. Like I, I appreciate the love and I appreciate that. At least as far as I can see it, the community of people that follow me and the community of people that follow the show, the bold type, all seem really um, loving and uh, it seems like it's just a healthy environment and I think it should stay that way because 
It should be all love all the time because, I don't know, TV and movies and stuff are supposed to be fun. We're supposed to be having a good time. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll go live again soon, you know, when I get a hot minute to talk. But this has been great. I'll talk to you guys soon. Maybe I did this whole thing wrong. Maybe I didn't even go live at all. I don't know. It looks like I did. So, you know. All right. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>